وقال نسبة في المدينة امراة العزيز ترابط فتاحة النفسي now this you know this news broke and reached that higher society because you know the aristocrats in that society the begamat you know the wives now they were talking to each other قالت نسوة في المدينة امراة العزيز ترابط فتاحة النفسي what has happened to this wife of this chief minister prime minister chief executive officer she wants to seduce her slave قد شغفها حبا ورلی he has incited in her intense aroused in her intense love for him قد شغفها حبا انہا لنراہا فی درالی مبین we see her she has gone very very away from and very manifestly in you know error فلما سمعت بمکرہن and when she زلیخہ the wife of that chief minister or Aziz of Misr, when she heard about Makre Hinna, their malicious talk, Arsalat Ilayhinna, she sent for them all to a banquet. Wa'atat lahunna muttakan, and arranged a banquet for them. Wa'atat kulla wahidatin minhunna sikkinan, and gave to every one of them a knife to cut the fruits, etc., وَقَالَتْ اُخْرُجْ عَلَيْهِنَّ قَالَتْ اُخْرُجْ عَلَيْهِنَّ And he then commanded to Yusuf Now come out before them Maybe for service or something else فَلَمَّا رَأَيْنَهُ When all of them saw him أَكْبَرْنَهُ They exalted him very much وَقَتَّعْنَ عَيْدِيَهُنَّ And they cut their hands Now not by mistake Please note قَتَّعْنَ قَطَّعَ يُقَطِّعُ تَقْتِعًا It is from Tafheel. It can only be willfully doing it. Each one of them wanted to draw the attention of Yusuf a.s. to him. It's just possible that one might have cut by mistake. And because Hazrat Yusuf, you know, he turned to her and, you know, attending him, attending her. So every, every one of them, you know, now cut the, the fingers or head intentively, intentionally. قَطَّعَنَا يَدِيَا وَقُلْنَ هَاشَا لِلَّهِ And they cut their hands in amazement and exclaim, Allah blameless, هَاشَا لِلَّهِ مَا هَذَا بَشَرَا This is not a mortal human being. إِنْ هَذَا إِلَّا مَلَكٌ كَرِيمٌ He is none but a noble angel. قَالَتْ فَذَالِكُنَّ الَّذِي لُمْتُنَّ لِي فِي Now she said, this is the one about whom you had been blaming me. وَلَقَدْ رَعَوَتْتُهُ عَنْ نَفْسِهِ And surely, indeed, I tried to seduce him. فَاسْتَعْصَمْ But he held back. He held himself. He abstained. وَلَئِلَّا لَمْ يَفْعَلْ مَا عَمُرَهُ And if he is not going to do what I am asking him to do, لَيُسْ جَنَنَّا He will definitely be put in the prison. وَلَيَكُونَ مِّنَ الصَّاغِرِينَ Oh, and he will become the degraded from the degraded ones. Now hearing all this conversation, Hazrat Yusuf is hearing it. Now he turns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in prayer. Qadar Rabbi Sajinu Ahabbu ilayya umma yadrunani ilay. O Allah, oh my Lord, prison is more preferable to me than the way to which these women are calling me. Yad'oonani. Now here is again plural. Not only that wife of Al-Aziz, but all these women. The society was corrupt. The higher society that was absolutely corrupt. What is happening to the royal society of Britain? Royal family of Britain. All these stories, you know. All along with the confessions. Clear confessions. On the media. Throughout the world. So actually... She was not very much ashamed of what she did. She clearly said, yes, yes, I did it. But he held back. He abstained. He didn't respond. But now, if he doesn't respond in future, I'm bent upon it. And if he doesn't respond positively, he'll be put in prison. Now what she said, Rabbi Sijinu ahabbu ilayya mimma yadrunani ilay. Oh my Lord, prison is preferable to me. Then to what they are calling me. 
And if you don't turn away from me their machinations, it's just possible that I might incline towards them. And then I will become from the ignorance. I'll be the loser. You know, after all, I'm a human being. And you're seeing, you know, to their machinations. They can go to the extent of cutting their hands so that I can have any attention towards them. So maybe if they continue one after the other, all these you know, means maybe I might slip. Maybe I incline towards them. So his Lord accepted his prayer. And he turned away from him their machinations. Verily, he is all listening, all knowing. And then it came to occur to them. It appeared to them to be advisable. Even after seeing all these signs, he had seen for himself, the chief minister, what had happened in his house. He knew it. He had himself said, you are guilty to his wife. And he had said to Hazrat Yusuf, now just ignore it. Let it go away. But now they thought, and this is actually the public safety now. For the public safety, he must be put into the prison. Because, you know, we can't hold back our women. So it's better that he should be put in the prison. These are the laws, safety laws in so many countries. The Tada, Tada, you know, Tada, Tada in, in India. And there's going to be, and it's under, you know, legislation, legislative process, undergoing different stages. The Omnibus Anti-Terrorist Act. Anybody, any American, either a citizen or an alien, you know, if he's a citizen, he could be put to prison without proving any charge against him. And if he is an alien, he can be just turned out from the country without proving. Now, nothing was proved against him. Summa badala hum mimbaade maara abul ayat na yas junan na hu hatta hi. It is better, both advisable, to put him in the prison for some time to come. Wa dakhala maahu sijna fatayan. And with him entered the prison two youths. Qala ahaduhuma. One of them said to him, Inni arani asiru khamra. I see in my vision myself pressing wine. Waqal al akharu. And the other one said, Inni arani ahmilu fawqarasi khubza. I see in my vision, in my dream, that I am carrying bread on my head. And the birds are eating it from it. Tell us the interpretation of this, this dream. We see you to be a very good character man. You are, you are a very good man. You, are, you don't seem to be a criminal like ourselves, you know. In the prison all others are criminals, but you are a different type of person. You seem to be a very gentle person, knowledgeable person. So actually, if you can, please tell us the interpretation. He said, the food which comes to you, which is given to you every day, the ration in the prison. Now today, when the, that food is given to you, before that time, I will tell you the interpretation of your dreams. What does it mean? He wanted to borrow some time, to buy some time. Because now they had turned to him, he wanted to preach to them the truth of the deen. Because after all, he was son of a prophet, Hazrat Yaqub salam. He was fully grown, he was 17 when he was taken away from his home. So he knew his grandfather Ibrahim, great grandfather Ibrahim and his grandfather Ishaq and his father Yaqub. And what is the creed? What they believe in it, and what is the belief that he had? So he wanted to preach it. And this is from what my Lord has taught me. He is not taking the credit for himself. This is another thing, you know. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taught me these things. He kept me there in the house of the chief minister. I was there in that society, topmost society. I had the occasions 
to learn things, to interpret the things. But all things were arranged for me by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nobody could have done it to me without his command. Zalikuma mimma alamani rabbi inni taraktum millata qawmin la yuminuna billahi wa la wa hum bil akhirati hum kafirun. I have left the creed of those people who don't believe in Allah and also they reject akhirah. They don't believe in resurrection. They don't believe in the hereafter. وَاتَّبَعْتُ مِلَّةَ آبَائِي إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْحَاقَ وَيَعْقُوبَ And I have now consciously, although he was a son or a grandson or a great grandson of the prophets, but now when he comes of an age, now this is actually a conscious rejuvenation or revitalization of faith. Conscious. So he says, وَاتَّبَعْتُ مِلَّةَ آبَائِي إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْحَاقَ وَيَعْقُوبَ And I have followed, I have decided to follow the creed of my forefathers, my fathers, Ibrahim and Ishaq and Yaqub. مَا كَانَ لَنَا نُشْرِكَ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ It's not worthy of us. It's not befitting for us that we should associate anything with Allah. ذَلِكَ مِنْ فَضْلِ اللَّهِ عَلَيْنَا This is the grace or bounty of Allah to us. He made us superior to every other creature. On us means especially on Ibrahim, Ishaq, Yaqub and me, but on the all of humanity. Because you know they were created as vast students of Allah on earth. And all the angels were made to prostrate before Adam alayhi salatu was salam. And we should now associate certain things, you know, to with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and try to and start worshipping them. It's not befitting for us. ذَلِكَ مِنْ فَضْلِ اللَّهِ عَلَيْنَا وَعَلَى النَّاسِ And on all the people, all the mankind. وَلَكِنَّ أَكْسَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَشْكُرُونَ But most of the people are not thankful. يَا صَاحِبَ يَسْسِجِنْ O two of my companions in the prison. أَرْبَابُ الْمُتَفَرِّقُونَ خَيْرُنَ مِنْ اللَّهُ الْوَاحِدُ الْقَحَارِ You think for yourself. Are so many scattered gods better? Or the one, Allah, the one, who is all powerful, who controls everything, who has power over everything. If you have to serve so many masters, is it easy? To serve one master, it's very easy. You know what are his priorities, what are his preferences. But you know, if you have to serve two, maybe their preferences and priorities clash with each other. So to whom to serve and whom to deny, you will be, you'll be in a fix. So, أَرْبَابُ الْمُتَفَرِّقُونَ خَيْرٌ أَمِ اللَّهُ الْوَاحِدُ الْقَحَارِ مَا پَرَابُدُونَ مِن دُونَهِ اللَّهِ أَسْمَانْ سَمَّيْتُ مُوْهَا أَنْتُمْ وَعَبَاوْكُمْ All these gods whom you are worshipping, leaving alone Allah, leaving away Allah, besides Allah, they are not except only names which you have named and concocted and invented. You and your forefathers. مَا أَنْرَ اللَّهُ بِهَا مِن سُلْطَانِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not sent down regarding any of those, any authority. In al-hukmu illa lillah. Sovereignty, the command, the absolute right of obedience is to Allah and Allah alone. In al-hukmu illa lillah. Amara Allah ta'abudu illa iya. And he has commanded that you will not obey, you will not worship anybody except me. ذَلِكَ الدِّينُ الْقَيِّمُ This is the straight deen. This is the right system of life. وَلَكِنَّ أَكْسَلَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ But most of the people know not. بَارَكَ اللَّهُ لِي وَلَكُمْ فِي الْقُرْآنِ الْعَظِيمُ وَنَفَعْنِي وَيَّاكُمْ بِالْآيَاتِ وَالزِّكِ الْحَكِيمُ